All right, I'm going to go ahead and start the YouTube highlight from right here. By the way, yesterday's YouTube uh, stuff, or yesterday's uh, Panda walkthrough is highlighted on my channel, but Twitch is having issues uploading to YouTube for some reason. So I haven't been able to get it on YouTube, but it is highlighted. So if you guys want to check that out, uh, I'll go ahead and toss you guys the link. And then you guys can, uh, here, just go to the... If you guys are wanting to check it out, I'll have this uploaded on YouTube, but, you know, a temporary thing. I know somebody may be wanting to go look over the, uh, you know, walkthrough that we did on the Monk. So, yeah. Uh, so, we're going to get the highlights started. What today is going to be over, it's Wednesday. It's usually the tank Q&A. Today, we're going to be focusing a lot on tank direction going into mists. May or may not have time for some armory audits and things like that. If you guys want your armory audited, uh, just uh, put, make sure you put it on Twitter and make sure you're following me on Twitter. And then we'll... Uh, Go ahead and get that on. The links are, you know, just scroll down on the stream and you can find them, all right? So, um, let's see how many followers we're at here. 600, dude, come on. Nine more followers on Twitter and we'll be up to 700. So, we're getting there, man. It's pretty good. So, you guys do me a favor if you can, follow me on Twitter and uh, we'll pull one or two audits off there and then get those going, all right? But uh, the way we're going to start this today is uh, I'm going to go ahead and toss you guys the link to this spreadsheet right here. And we're going to start going over this, okay? This is a very, very uh, in-depth spreadsheet, and I'm trying to keep it as accurate as possible, obviously. So here you go. I'm going to go ahead and toss this in stream chat, and I'm also going to go ahead and come check out our Miss Pandaria Tank uh, eval. All right, toss that on the Twitter feed. Okay, we did something wrong. Try sending your tweet again in a minute. Dude, the whole internet is killing me. Okay, there we go. We got it going. Um, let's go ahead. Got some people in here already uh, on the spreadsheet. Okay, so what this is looking at, let me go full screen for you guys. Um, and we'll go ahead and, you know, start this out, or before we get too in-depth with this, I need people to understand something. You know, it's... Um, you know, early beta, there's going to be a lot of changes being made and things like that. So I don't want anybody freaking out like, oh my god, you know. And, it, and uh, a lot of the stuff with the Monk, we're going to have to see how that works out, okay. We, we, you know, we don't, I'm not going to be able to really comment on a lot of how that, really anything of what they have is going to, how it's going to fit into a, uh, you know, raid situation. But we're still going to add it to the sheet. And, you know, obviously we just won't be able to raid it, okay. One thing that I have these columns for, um... I want to figure out a way to rate. Uh, I want to figure out a way to rate these cooldowns. Okay. Um, I don't know how. For I don't know if we're going to do it with like stars or what. But I need to be able to. You know, just. Uh, that's not necessarily something we're going to do today, but it's something I want to add to this sheet. Uh, my buddy Rotana actually gave me the idea of that because, you know, I mean, just think about it. You know, if you're looking at something like. Um, you know, look at Ardent Defender compared to, you know, it, there's different values on different cooldowns, you know, and, and, and I know that there's it's not just a black and white situation where you're going to be uh, able to just look at it on paper and be like, this is better. A lot of this is situational. It varies by fight, but the, the, the purpose of this spreadsheet is where people can see and kind of understand the options that a tank has in his arsenal, his, you know, bag of tools, whatever you really want to call it, like how many different options he has, you know, in his, you know, lineup. So, yeah, with that said, let's go ahead and get started with this. Um, if you guys see something that I haven't added, make sure to just bring it up because, you know, this is something that I've just, I mean, the only people that have really been helping me with this so far is uh, Rutana, um, and he kind of helped me add some of the Pally stuff. And if you see something that maybe needs moved around, we can do that as well. But uh, I want to try to get this, as, like I said, as accurate and uh, pretty well written as possible. Um, if there's any talents or something like that, or major glyph changes, you know what I mean? Like, uh, it's worth noting the WOG, 10% less healing glyph for uh, prop pally, stuff like that. Um, I want to try to keep this focused on defensive-oriented uh, things, but at the same time, the kind of the direction that tanks are going in miss is you're going to have to be doing offensive shit to get defensive results, you know what I mean? So like a Paladin, you're going to have to be able to connect with a Crusader Strike 
or you're going to have to be able to connect with the judgment to get holy power, you know what I mean? And which in turn helps you defensively. So, you know, if you guys see something I haven't added, uh, make sure to point that out, all right? Uh, first off, we're going to kind of look at the overall, I guess we can just go through the mastery stuff. Um, actually, before I get started, let me just do one thing. I'm going to go ahead and get on beta, and then we can tab in and out for uh, the monk stuff, because I'm going to be adding the monk stuff as we're going through this. And, okay, I thought the login server was going to be down again. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get on the monk. And uh, as we get to the monk, we're going to, you know, tab in and out and fill those in as we go. So... Just going over the quick masteries and a review of how each one of these works, okay? Um, Death Knight, nothing's really changing. Blood Shield works the same way. Uh, I'm pretty sure I didn't miss anything there. I've read through it a few times. Um, let's see. Actually, let me add something here now that it's on my mind. Uh, uh, da, 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 da. Mm. Where can I put this? Um... No, nah, I'm not going to add it. I was going to add something about the Sin of Blood, but I guess it uh, doesn't really fit. Okay, but yeah, getting back to it. Blood Shield, not really changing. Amplifies your uh, amplifies your heal done by the amount of mastery uh, from your Death Strike and affects your Blood Shield. Sorry, it does not have amplify your amount of healing done. Uh, your amount of healing done is completely dependent on the amount of damage intake that you've taken in the previous five seconds. And then your mastery affects the shield based on that healing done. Okay, so make sure that's clear. Don't want to confuse anybody. Guardian Druid, okay, the new Feral Druid, okay, what this is, what this is, what's changed with them, I know, I'm gonna try, somebody do me a favor and just kind of link the spreadsheet every so often, okay, I don't want people that are just joining to not be able to follow along, so, you know, just somebody, you know, uh, in chat, just link that every, you know, few minutes, just that way if anybody's joining, we can keep them up to speed on what's going on, all right, um, the... Druid, they have changed their mastery. You no longer have Savage Defense as a mastery, okay? Now it is just increased armor, all right? Now what, and what that means, that's, it's actually really, really strong uh, because you can, you know, it's there for every single physical hit. Now one thing just to increase, or to reiterate across the board here, in case anybody may be new to tanking or just misunderstood, is I hear people all the time that ask like, well, doesn't Blood Shield, uh, you know, doesn't Blood Shield, absorb magic damage too or doesn't savage defense work on spells no it does not every one of the masteries for every one of the tanks is physical damage only okay so your blood shield that's physical damage only your increased uh armor on the druid in this case that's only applies to physical damage uh, and the block chance on the warrior and the paladin is also uh you know physical only and the brewmaster the staggers that's physical only we'll get to that all right so uh but the, the Druids did change. It went from Savage Defense, which is now a resource mitigation-based um, ability, to just flat-out armor, okay? And I think that that's going to be really strong just because, like I said, it's it's almost like you're able... I mean, it's the it's in sense... Okay, the way that block capping works, if you guys are familiar with block capping or CTC, you're either dodging, parrying, or blocking a hit. And you never take a hit that's not either dodged, blocked, or parried, okay? And... That block, say that you were, you know, say you're a paladin, say you're a warrior that wasn't crit, block, crit blocking. That means that any time that you get, you were able to, or any time that you were taking a hit, you were taking 30% reduced damage off of that hit. Okay, there was no spike damage potential. Okay, well, the kind of the way that they've reworked the tank classes in a paladin and a warrior perspective is you're unable to block cap at this point. All right, but with that said, you know, the druids mastery. Or even, or, okay, the, kind of hopping over the place here. I'm just trying to make sure everybody understands this. The Blood Shield, the Paladin, or the, the DK, the Paladin, and the Warrior, you're able, with all three of the Masteries current the way that they are right now, you are able to take a full, flat-out hit for, you know, just get face-melted, okay? The reason I have a problem with the Druid Mastery, and I'm not sure if this will change, I'm not sure if it will end up being balanced or whatever, but the reason that a Druid Mastery is a little bit off kilt from the others is because it's there for every single hit okay and what that's going to provide during progression is a lot more consistency on the damage intake for the druid now it, it's yet to be seen how that's going to work out because you know it doesn't i mean you, you still on top of this you have the active you know ability to get savage defense pretty much 100 percent uptime now i know whenever we were going over warrior stuff the other day somebody was like well 
you're going to have so much rage from getting hit. You guys are aware that during miss, you will no longer be getting rage from incoming attacks. They don't. That's the whole point of the rage resource system is you don't have infinite rage and infinite resource. Uh, you know, infinite resources. What they want you to do, you're only getting rage going from outgoing attacks and only specific outgoing attacks. You get like 13, or it's either 12 or 13 rage from an auto attack. You get like 10 rage or whatever from a shield slam. Uh, and things like that, and that's what you use to get up, Savage Defense, Shield Block, use your Holy Power to get up the Holy Shield, which is a component of the Hammer of the Right, or Shield of the or yeah, Shield of the Righteous on a Paladin, so, I mean, just looking at Masteries, I can't go over that enough, this increased armor mastery is really, really strong, now, like I said, I mean, it's not going to provide the burst, it's not going to be able to provide the Burst mitigation, that like say if you block something on a warrior that's 30% or you crit block it at 60, you know, a paladin, uh, whenever you have your, um, you know, sh holy shield component of your uh, shield slam active, it's 55%, and on the death knight, you know, blood shields are able to stack and things like that. So a druid may not be uh, as prone to burst damage, but it's going to be the most consistent damage intake, all right? Um, now let's go ahead and add the monk stuff here. Let's tab back over here. Monk Mastery, okay, it's called Elusive Brawler, all right, let's go ahead and add this to the spreadsheet, Elusive Brawler, okay, and what that does for people that aren't, you know, familiar with it, let's go ahead and get this back up here, it reduces the damage taken by Stagger, and if you guys were, you know, in here the other day, whenever we were going over this, where is it at, one sec, Stagger, what Stagger does is, you cause 50% of the damage to happen instantly. So more or less, it's a block for 50%, okay, instead of 30. So it's more of a block than the normal tank would be getting. But at the same time, that additional 50% that you're blocking is spread out over the uh, over 9 seconds. So you kind of like have a dot rolling on you as a monk, okay? So everybody needs to understand how that works. This is something that's going to have to be completely you know, subject to change, you know what I mean, like, we can't say for sure how this is going to be in a raid situation, it could be extremely weak, it could be extremely overpowered, it could be well balanced, we don't know yet, we haven't seen it in a raid, and you're not going to find people speculating on shit, you know, I can't stand people that do that, so, yeah, I mean, like somebody said in the chat, it is like stay of execution, and things like that, okay, so, um, yeah, again, elusive brawler, and also here's another thing. It's kind of like it double their mastery double dips as far as like benefit. Not only are you reducing the damage taken by the stagger dot, you also increase the effect of your guard. Okay, and what it means by guard, here it is right here. This is like your death strike. Okay, except without heat, instead of healing you, you just get a flat out shield of a static amount. It's not dependent on the amount of damage or heal or anything like that. Okay, what it does, it absorbs. Right now, mine absorbs 32k, 32.1k over eight seconds, all right? And any heals that you apply to yourself are increased by 35%. Actually, while we're sitting here, I wanna try something. I want to go down here and get my mastery trinket to proc, and I wanna see if, I have a mastery trinket. I wanna get this mastery trinket to proc. There it is, okay, let's see, damn it. What was that at? I've already forgot. I'm, I'm horrible with shit like this. What was our, uh... Right, actually, I'll just see when it falls off. Okay. Wait, wait for this. Okay, so maybe it affects the amount you're getting healed as well. My mastery proc on the trinket. I'm up to 30. Okay, so... You see the the amount it healed went up, and then... Okay, it fell. Okay, so it also it also affects the amount healing... Uh, the amount of healing amp done by your mastery. So that's good to know. Okay. Um, let's see... So that that's definitely good. I mean, this is this is kind of like the only. Ma I mean, I don't know. You could kind of compare it to a warrior, which you get block, and then access goes into crit block. This is kind of like you get stagger, which is your block, and you get uh, additional healing by your uh, through your. Oh my God, I'm horrible with names. Guard, sorry, through your guard, you get additional healing. Okay, so everybody's on the same page. Where that, what that does, what it means, and all that stuff. Um, increased block chance on a paladin. It's kind of the same way it is now. It's just your mastery is going to increase the amount you are base, like your base block is 30% or whatever at level 90. Uh, you know, I'm not sure what value it'll be at 
we don't have a level 90 to test. I know your, your combat rays are going to be cut in half or something like that. So, um, you know, say you've got 30% base, every point of mastery is going to increase it by, you know, a more than a warrior's would is what I'm getting at. And then a warrior is the same way that it is now. It, it increases at a slower rate of a prop paladin, but it also gives you the chance to crit block. Okay. Um, so, yeah, I'm not really sure. Um, how it's going to even out, you know, I know I, I, I see, I know Ritana was, you know, the end is, the, the sky is falling, prop paladins are done, you know, they're buried, uh, you know, I joke about it just because, uh, you know, I've known Ritana for a long time, and, and we kind of uh, joke around because, you know, prop paladins have pretty much been king shit for two X-Packs, and, uh, you know, Lord forbid they uh, drop down on the food chain a little bit, but, uh, you know, we'll have to see how it goes. The, uh, the Word of Glory buff is pretty huge, being able to spam it. But, uh, you know, we'll get into that. All right, let's keep, uh, keep, focused on the, um, keep focused on the masteries. If anybody has questions about any of these masteries, go ahead and throw them out there. Uh, I think the Monk one is looking really strong. I just, the biggest thing to me is I don't know how they're going to be able to balance, you know, the damage with that dot. Because, I mean, even on the Monk, you have abilities that, uh, where is it? You have, yeah, P Purifying Brew. It instantly purifies all of your stagger damage and things like that. So, I mean, you can, like, that's only on a 45-second cooldown. So, I mean, and, you know, it's a, I don't know, it just, it seems really prone to being a little Imba. So, yeah, we'll have to see how that goes. Okay, um, let's see. Um, resource mitigation. Okay, this is kind of like what you use your abilities on and how it works. A Death Knight, what you're using to get your, you know, mat or you know, to get your mitigation on a death knight is death strike via blood b blood shield. Okay, um, on a druid, you have to use your rage to keep up savage defense. And notice how this says mitigation. You know, I don't want people to be like, well, you can also use your rage on fringy regen. Well, no shit, but that's not any mitigation. Okay, that's only amplified healing. All right, and even if you take the glyph out, it's only going to give you a hot. You know what I mean? So. Uh, the mitigation components through your resources on a Death Knight is Blood Strike. All right, good God, I'm horrible today. Death Strike giving you a Blood Shield. Uh, Guardian Druid, your Savage Defense. When your Savage Defense is active, it's not the current. It, whenever it's active, it is giving you 40% reduced damage taken, physical damage taken. Okay, uh, what we can put for the Monk here, I would probably go with Guard and Shuffle, both. Okay, because... I don't really know which one of these um, would be best. I'm trying to think of how I want to add these to the spreadsheet because it's a little different because okay, all the abilities that a monk has, okay, as far as mitigation goes, you have, you have the shuffle which makes you force stagger the next three melee attacks and you also have your guard so I'm trying to think what I want to put on here for this uh, let's just add them both for right now shuffle which is a 20 second cooldown for Tucci shuffle uh, 20 Second CD to Chi. And then also let's add guard, which is uh, just flat out to Chi. I'm not going to put, I'm actually not going to put shuffle on there. That's a cooldown. I'm just going to put guard on here because there's no cooldown. Yeah, that's the way that it should be. I think that's a, okay. Let's go with guard to Chi. We may end up changing this. Don't flip out. Oh, Rig, put this. Chill out. All right. Um, let's see, let's see, uh, looking over through here, uh, again, resource mitigation, you're, as a paladin, you get amplified block through getting your, you know, throwing your, uh, shield slam down, and then the warrior, you get shield block, and it does the same thing that it does now, without the, uh, shield barrier component, okay? Um, one minute cooldowns across the tank board here, we've got bone shield, same shit as it does now, 20%, six charges. Bark skin, same shit that it does now. 20%, 12 seconds. Let me add that. Uh, what? Uh, 20% for 12 seconds. Six charges. 2.5, 6. 
second. ICD. I haven't checked the ICD on that. I think that's what it is. I could be wrong. Let's just take that off until I find out. Alright, I'll leave it up there. Um, Monk. Let's look. One minute cooldown. One minute cooldown. Um, they don't really have a one minute CD. Oh, wait. JK. One second. That's raid utility. Uh, I'm trying to find a one minute. Okay, I guess the closest thing would be shuffle, which is 20 seconds. So we're not going to put anything in that one minute CD department. They're kind of like a warrior in that regard. So just leave that as a blank here. Let's look at the prop out on div prot you have to glyph it to get the 20 percent physical right now it's base 40 percent magical magical damage um 40 percent magic reduct one minute uh actually no let's just we've already got that list of the magic let's do 20 percent reduct one minute, have to have it glyphed. Okay, so we'll put that in there. Warrior is none. Okay, then we're going to go over here to the uh, Death Knight. Let's look, or start with the Death Knight here. And then, um, no, you guys understand something. The way that it works here, you, it is no longer, it's reversed on beta. It's 40% base, and you glyph it to get the physical. Whereas on live, you glyph it to get the magical. I know what I'm talking about. All right, just uh, trust me there. That's what it is. Again, getting the amplified healing effects. Vamp blood, 40% of glyph, which you pretty much are going to have it glyphed across the board. Um, Guardian Druid, Frenzy Regen, 60 Rage, no cooldown there. Uh, let me just add this here to Vamp blood. Um, let's just add one minute. Monk. Amplified healing. Let me just double check something. Uh, I know this chi shit, or this tiger palm, affects your... It's in the passive. What is it? Uh, increases the amount of your next guard by 5%. That's one thing I want to check out again. Let me try to test this out. Okay, when you get, when you tiger palm... Okay, so what we're going to check right here is this thing, this Tiger Palm stacks, okay? Okay, so we got, shit. Let me click all this shit off. Okay, I don't want, oh shit. Um, I think I clicked off the damn buff. Okay, right, what I'm checking for here is the Tiger Palm... It's supposed to increase the amount of your next guard by 5%. Stacks up to three times. So I want to know if that affects the... Your next guard is increased by 5%. That is not affecting... My amount of healing, right? Hang on. Okay, so we got to stack three times. Let's kill this. Let's uh, let's not click off the damn thing. This right, it drops right when we're out of combat. I don't think it was. I think it was only increasing the amount absorbed. It wasn't increasing the amount of healed. So we can't really qualify that. Um, amplified healing. I don't really see a. I'm trying to think here. Well, we could qualify with that. No. Not a NA. None. Um, so we're going to leave that open for the monk. Okay. Uh, moving on from this. I wanted to put this in there, but you... I uh, think you actually have to have this glyph. Rutana told me to add this. I didn't really check on it. Um, he's pretty spot on with his, his prop pally stuff. I, I see Spazzle and talking in chat. So, if you want to chime in on it, maybe you know, I'd have to, you know, to save me from logging on my pally. You only get the heal from Avenging Wrath if you glyph it, right? So just, just double checking there. Pretty sure you're only going to get that Amplified Healing 
and it's only self-healing, and it's only 10% over 30 seconds on a three-minute cooldown. So um, let me know, just uh, if anybody double-check, keep me from re-logging over. I own a warrior, there's nothing. So, um, yeah, I think that this is glyphed only. I'm just going to toss it in there. Glyphed. Has to be glyphed. Uh, let's actually amp healing fat. Let's, uh, guard. Yeah, let's just throw guard in there, just because it does. If that's what we're going to be going with. Um, guard increases. Any heals you apply to yourself. Okay, personal healing only. Let's just go ahead and throw that in there. Hard personal heals only. Okay, and then... Okay, good stuff. All right. Magic reduction. Okay, let's get to this. AMS, you know, the uh, the bread and butter of a death knight almost. It's uh, one of my favorite abilities on my DK, which now returns runic power. Um, let's see here. Druid, I don't know. Uh, there's no magic. It's the thing about it, you know, a druid, you know, we're not going to put bark skin in there again because, you know, that is, um, we already have that listed on the one minute CD. Okay, but the... Uh, The druid doesn't have an ability that, you know, is just blocks magic damage. For the monk, okay, what the guy here is saying, couldn't you put the 50% dodge CD in the one minute for the monks? Um, you're talking about the 45 second cooldown? Yeah, I could do that. Let's just, let's do that. It's a good idea. Elusive brew, let's just put 45 seconds on there for the, uh, let's, that's a good point. I was just going to give it its own column, but we'll just annotate here. Elusive brew... 50%, uh, what is that one? 50% dodge for 10 seconds. 50% dodge for 10 seconds. 45 second CD. Okay, so we're going to add that there. Um, getting back to the magic reduction portion. Um... I want to add a category down here that's like key changes. Uh, we'll, eh, I'll just add key changes. At the end of all this, we may just go back and do that. I just want to make a note down there. Okay. Um, magic reduction. Uh, druid. Nothing. Uh, this one. This one's really cool here. With the, I'll let you guys see the dematerialize. Okay. So how this works here, it says one chi. Forgot to put the elusive brew. Uh, cost of one chi. Okay. Um, elusive. Wait, 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 wait. No, here. Dematerialize. Okay, this is channeled, so it's really shitty. Okay, and what this does here is. I don't understand though, because it, what it's saying here is, you. I get the I get the magic part. I get that. Fully. Okay, but what I don't understand is it says increases your chance to dodge by 100%. So is it saying you can dodge while you're channeling? That's just what's kind of like, doesn't make sense to me. I'll let you guys see it here. When this is active, you see it channeling. 45 second cooldown. So we're going to put that on there for magic shit for sure. It's going to be the main use of it, I would think. Um, dematerialize. M A T E R I. Dematerialize. Spell that wrong. I knew I was going to. Oh, wait, no, I didn't. It just doesn't have... Okay, so... Um, 45 seconds... Magic... Immunity... Channeled. Channeled. Uh, one chi. I'm going to put it over here. Also... Increases dodge chance... By 100%. So I'm not really sure how that's going to work out. All right, but we'll see how that goes. Um, manage immunity for three seconds. Okay. Five second duration. And div prot is 10 or 12. Having a brain fart. Uh, let's say 12. Pretty sure it's 12. 12 second duration. Okay. And shield barrier, 6 second duration. 
I'm going to go ahead and throw this in there for shield block as well, as well as savage defense, and this. Okay, so we're going to put all that in there. Um, moving to, let's see, did Spaz come in here? Okay, yeah, he said, yeah, you, you're asking about the Avenging Wrath. Okay, yeah, that is Glyft. Okay, it has to be Glyft. Um, let me see if I want to put that in there, though. Hmm. I'll leave it in there. Whatever. Div prod, one minute uh, or magic reduction. Like I said, it's one minute CD, 12 second duration, uh, 40% magic. Um, put that in caps for people that still may be confused. And then on a warrior, you have shield barrier. Okay, now what you guys may be thinking, like, what's shield barrier? Is that a new ability on a warrior? Yes, it is. Okay, what happens in mop with a warrior is no longer do you get the baked-in 20% reduction when you have shield block active. Okay, and they're going to make you work for it, and they're going to make you decide what you want to do. Okay, um, so what... Uh, what what they did here is you have to choose do you want the shield block active for physical or do you want to use the 60 rage on shield barrier okay and what shield barrier does is it's uh i think 25 percent magic reduct 60 rage six second cooldown okay um again chat said 10 second duration on div prod i knew it was one of the two okay uh so many numbers going around i get a little confused at times not a big not a game breaker anyways um yeah, so is everybody clear on that? The shield barrier for a warrior in MOP, what it's doing is it's a separate ability completely. You can either shield block or you can shield barrier. So I really kind of like what they're doing with warriors. They're making you decide, oh shit, do I want to put up shield barrier real quick for this breath by the dragon or do I want to keep shield block rolling to, you know, keep from getting, you know, wrecked by the uh, physical damage intake. So there's going to be a lot more decision making in the tanking community overall it's not just limited to like you know as a death knight you you kind of was already you notice how the death knight didn't get a lot of changes because kind of like that's what it was already doing you know you had to make all those decisions do i wait a second to death strike do i do it now do i sit on this do i you know do i do i pull energy or do i pull rp uh, you know, you, there was a lot of decision making in Death Knight as far as how mitigation works. The Paladins and the Druids and the Warriors, it was all just like, the Druid, you just did damage and your Savage Defense proc'd on your crits. And a Warrior and a Paladin, I'm not saying they were, you know, I'm not, they, don't take this the wrong way, but I'm just saying like that's kind of what you did on a Druid and a Paladin and a Warrior was you just did your thing. There was a lot less thinking involved with when do I want to mitigate damage? How do I want to mitigate the damage? You know what I mean? Like those are components that's now, that are now going to be added to Mists of Pandaria, which is it really going to be able to separate the the gaps between good tanks and bad tanks? And I am completely, you know, oh, uh, you know, gung ho, do it, do it, do it. And I love the changes. I love the direction they're going, and uh, it's going to make for a lot of fun. You know, you're going to have, you know, it's a, it's going to make tanking a lot more of a thinking man's game instead of you know just take your take your warrior where you would just sit there and you have your block capped and it's like oh l o l o l let me just sit here with my you know. 400 plus mastery over the CTC cap and look at all these crit blocks work for me. I'm not even, you know, like none of that shit. You know what I mean? Like you are going to have to work, be doing, you know, damage to get your shield block active. Oh shit, there's a breath coming. Let me, you know, get my, you know, get enough rage to get the shield barrier up real quick and things like that. So it's going to be really cool. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, what did we just do? Magic reduction? Okay. Um, Major damage reduction. Okay, what this is is your major CD, and I I was gonna just title it Shield Wall, but I didn't want people to be like, well, I have an IBF, not a Shield Wall. Well, no shit. Okay, but whenever you guys are, you know, say you're watching my stream, I'll be like, well, I'm walling. You know, it's just a general term used for a Shield Wall. You know what I mean? Shield Wall is equivalent to IBF, Guardian, you know, or Survival Instincts. All that shit is, you know, Shield Wall. But I just labeled it Major Damage Reduction. Um, what uh, we're going with is, uh, you know, Icebound Fortitude, same shit, 50, 50%, 50% uh, Reduck. Survival Instincts, 3 minutes, 50% Reduck. Um, Monk, okay, let's tab back over here. 
what they've got going on. All right, and I don't fully get it. I'm going to go ahead and say that right now. I don't fully get what they've got going on. Hang on. Yeah, meditation. Sorry. This monk shit's still new to me too. All right. Um, three minutes. Okay, so this is why it's kind of like, okay, well, this should be your shield wall. It's the same as every other tank. Minus a warrior in before. Oh, I'm two minutes. Yeah, I get it. You're a special snowflake. But anyways, okay, meditation. Three-minute cooldown. Reduces all damage taken by 99%. Also, redirects all harmful spells within the raid cast against you. Now, what you mean by, or what it means by all harmful spells, okay, that doesn't mean... The best example is what somebody said the other day. You're not going to pop that on Neff and it absorb the crackle damage from the entire raid onto you. That's not what it means, okay? Um, it means shit like Shattered Ice from Hagara or shit like, uh, I'm pretty sure those, I forget the name of that, that KJ ability during Kill Jaden progression. You know, just things like targeted abilities on players, okay? That's what that means. I could see it being really useful in some situations, but it's kind of like not enough to where it's like, oh my god, nerf this now. However, I don't really see it sticking because all of I, there, there's a lot of just stuff that I don't understand about the ability, and I'm not going to be able to tell you guys until after the um, until after the beta raid testing has commenced. But the reason I say that it's kind of they're asking for people to exploit this is reducing damage taken by 99%. But the catch is. When you're a victim of a melee attack, it cancels the effect. This is yet another channeled ability by a monk. As you see here, I mean, it's got a really cool graphic. You know, the monk's doing his thing. That's really cool. I like it. That's your shield wall, right? Okay, well, the thing is, when you get meleeed, it cancels it. So I'm not sure how they expect a tank to... Because you already don't have, like, some of the abilities that the other tanks do have, but... You also don't have a major cooldown because the way that your shield wall works is if you get meleeed, it cancels it. You know what I mean? Like, what's the point of having 99 reduced damage taken? I mean, it's basically like they're screaming, hello, I am the ultimate off tank. You know what I mean? But even then, why the hell would you need to pop something to reduce it by 99% if you're not even tanking the boss? You know what I mean? Like, the only time I could see this being extremely useful is on stuff that's like magic bursts. Like, take... Maloriac, for example. If you could time it perfectly to pop meditation before he hits you with a melee, before he did the red breath on the entire raid, you could turn him away and soak it yourself or something like that. You know what I mean? But, uh, and the way that we were doing it yesterday is, you know, absorbs don't keep that thing active. You know what I mean? And it doesn't work in conjunction with absorbs. So say you pop that and then you, it's not reducing all damage incoming by 99% if you because if that was the case you could just do that in conjunction with a guard you could pop guard get a you know 50k shield on you and if you're reducing all damage taken by 99% that 50k shield would never be broken but if you have a shield on you if you still get hit with a melee it's going to it's going to break it even though the melee hit was absorbed so I don't really know what they're doing with that it doesn't feel like it has good synergy I'm sure I could be completely wrong and it's actually super overpowered or super balanced I have no idea I just don't think it's good just because it's you can't get meleeed, you know what I mean? It's like, hey, you're a tank, but you can't get meleeed. And it's like, why do you need 99% reduction? Why do you basically need to be able to bubble completely? Because that's honestly what you're doing. You know, I don't get it. Uh, the only good thing about it would be that it reverts all harmful spells cast against targets. But again, I'm pretty sure that's only single targeted abilities. Because I, if, the, okay, I'll put it this way. If they allow it to work on any damage, the way this is going to work is you would have a raid full of 25 monks and you could just rotate meditations and no one would ever take any damage. And I'm dead serious. In a 25-man raid, that's what you could do. So I'm pretty sure that's not going to be how it works. That ability definitely needs some balance. We're going to go ahead and put that down as their shield wall, just because that's the best place to put it. But, uh, you know, I don't uh, I don't really get it, okay? Meditation, 3-minute uh, CD, 99% uh, reduct or damage. Or we'll just put reduct here. Uh, we're going to put breaks on melee we're also going to put that it is channeled channeled breaks on melee lol okay and uh also i'm going to put this here also absorb or uh provides raid with 
damage immunity for eight seconds. Eight seconds. Okay. Cool stuff. All right. Let me see if anybody is. Uh, um, let's see. Yeah, the, the one guy just pointed it out. I mean, you could use it if you have a shitload of stagger damage taken. That would be one thing, uh, you know, how you would use it. Say you've got this huge rolling dot, and people are like, oh, my God, get it off you. But it just seems kind of stupid to have that tied into your three-minute cooldown. You know what I mean? I mean, it just it doesn't fit well. And, uh, you know, if they're wanting monks to be, you know, I just I can't see, you know, it's basically like tanking without a shield wall because that's, that's what they're doing. So, I mean, and if they're compensating by that by making everything else, to put the monk to the ability they don't need a shield wall, then that kind of like defeats the purpose because they're just Superman outside of a shield wall, and that's not what you want. Okay, um, let's see here. Mm. You guys can already access the spreadsheet. You know, I'll toss it in there. That one guy's doing a pretty good job of linking it in here, and uh, you know, you guys can follow along with it right now and just kind of see where we're going. And you guys can check it out as I'm adding updates uh, as we go. You know, throughout the days and whatnot. Okay. Um, so moving on from here, it's actually taking a pretty good t amount of time as we're going through it so in depth. Uh, you know, Guardian, same shit as it is now, 50% uh, Reduck, and then we'll we'll go ahead and uh, update the shield wall to keep things uniformed. Put it like the rest, 40% Reduck. Okay, Warrior is a special snowflake with a two-minute CD. You know, good stuff, right? Um, so that's your major cooldowns. Uh, health increase CD. Um, the only way you're going to get that on a Death Knight, you unglyph VB, one minute cooldown. Um, it's 15% percent, percent, uh, HP gain. Might have Ursoc. I. Fuck me. Um, is it 25%, I think, HP gain? I'll have to go look at that, but, uh, you know, we'll change that. Whatever. I mean, it, it is what it is. I may have to change the value. You guys know what I mean. That's. And you guys may be like. Well, what happened to Fringy Regen? That's what Fringy Regen turned into, okay? You're going to choose on the Warrior, or the, I'm sorry, the Druid. Uh, I don't really know if I went over this. The Fringy Regen, earlier, whenever we were talking about Amped Healing, okay, it's, the Fringy Regen was renamed, kind of, the more, the, the way you need to look at it, or I guess it's split. It no longer gives you the Health Increase and the Amplified Healing. It only gives you the Amplified Healing, and they give you another ability completely called Might of Ursoc, and that's your last stand, okay? Um, your Amplified Healing... Um, ability on the Druid, yeah, I'm pretty sure we didn't cover this, so I'm going back to it, is, is Fringy Regen, and it's it's the same way with the Warrior, you have to choose between Shield Barrier or Shield Block, on a Druid you have to choose between Savage Defense or Fringy Regen, okay? Um, going over here to the Monk, amp in or Health Increase CD, okay, this one I already know where to look, it is called Fortifying Brew, 3 minute CD, and it's pretty cool, also not so cool, okay, what this does here is, a uh, Fortify, fortify, oh shit, fortifying, F-O, I'm horrible spelling, F-O-R-T-I, okay. Fortifying brew, there we go, holy shit, okay. Three minutes CD, three minutes, 100% HP gain, but cannot receive heals. I just spelled receive wrong. Okay, and just to let you guys see the tooltip yourselves, cannot be healed, 20 second duration. Let me go ahead and add that on there. 20 sec duration. Um, yeah, all right, and then going over here, Paladin. Obviously, there's no last sand ability for a Paladin, and then the Warrior is three minutes, okay? Um, warrior is 30% HP gain. All right, and uh, looking over here, self heal. Uh, you know, I just put three different categories for here because a lot of tanks have a bunch of different ones. On your death knight, you have uh, you know conversion or death pact. You have to take your pick between that. You have lich Morn if you want to drop AMZ, and you also have rune tap and death strike. Um, as a druid, one thing that I didn't go through whenever we did the druid walkthrough the other day, okay, is uh, you know you have the ability called disentanglement. It's a talent in your level 90 tree. 
All right, and remember whenever we were going over the walkthrough, I was like, well, you may choose between, uh, I was saying you would pick the six-minute ability to have more raid utility, but uh, somebody, you know, Diggs in our guild pointed out you could pick up Disentanglement, and basically it heals you for 20% of your HP, 20% uh, HP heal every 30 seconds, okay, and you can power shift to do that, so you would probably make a macro, and you know, like, right after you take a boss hit, just power shift, and you get a 20% heal out of it. Uh, it seems kind of clunky, I'm not sure if that's going to stick, but it is what it is right now. Um, you could also on Glyph Frenzy Regen. I wouldn't recommend it. Some fights probably, but uh, for the most part, I'd probably keep it glyphed. And then uh, you also have a two-minute cooldown on a druid. Now this is an additional uh, gain for the druids. Is um, sorry, lost my train of thought. Yeah, it's an additional gain for the druids. It gives you a 30% heal on a two-minute CD. Okay, and. Uh, Anybody that can look uh, look that up, I think it's 25% HP gain. Actually, I'll just put it at 30, uh, just assuming it's the same as last stand. If it's less, I'll change it, okay, with a Metaverse lock. I, I don't feel like we don't have the time for me to be logging over just to double-check abilities. I will update this, and it will be accurate, but I'm pretty sure it's somewhere around there. Uh, it's either 20, 25, or 30, <laughs> one of those. Um, Monk, Self Heals, we'll go ahead and add this here. They've got one really cool one here. Uh, it's called Expel Harm. It instantly heals you and causes 100% of the amount healed to be dealt with da as damage. So it's really cool for AoE, okay? And I was saying about this last night, monks are just really shaping up to be a really strong AoE class, just because you've got this fortifying brew, which only costs energy. There's no cooldown on it. You can, it basically stacks a movement impairing effect on the mob that you're kiting. You have that, you have this crane kick shit, or, uh, yeah, spinning crane kick here, and you also have, you know, your, your your breath of fire. So, I mean, like, they just have so much AoE damage. Like, I just don't know, you know, like, it kind of seems maybe that's the direction they're going is making a non-shield tank be viable at doing adds because, you know, Druid and DK, they can do it, but it's not, you know, I mean, kind of the whole way that's probably going to be approached though now that they're changing block capping. But, uh, so, yeah, we're going to add that as Expel Harm right here. Expel Harm. Um... One minute CD. Uh, very. Uh, um, oh, not one minute. Fifteen seconds. Holy shit! I totally botched that. Fifteen seconds. I don't know why I was saying one minute. So that's actually really good. Fifteen second CD. Uh, Forty energy. Forty energy. Fifteen seconds. Uh, amount or. Scales with probably a type power, um, pretty sure, because it's you know it changes based uh, on your agility or something. Um, Word of Glory on a Paladin, no cooldown on that as well. Three Holy Power, just go ahead and put that in there. Three Holy Power, no CD, uh, and then a Warrior. You basically pick, take your pick between Impending Victory, which is a 30 second CD, and Rage Regen or Second Wind. Probably going to go with Impending Victory because you can glyph that to amplify the personal heal that you get from that and things like that. Um, let's see, moving on from that group, uh, let me make sure a monk doesn't have any other self-healing, um, you can maybe go with the Chica Coon, if you guys want to see that, that is what that is, uh, we're going to go ahead and put that in there, two minute cooldown, this is a talent, um, self-heal two. Chi Kun is spelled C A or C O C O N. Okay. Cocoon, uh, two minute CD for I think thirty percent of your health. It is somebody said eight seconds, five percent. I think it's eight seconds. Somebody said like that. So if that's the case it's forty percent. Somewhere around there. You know, we'll update these values. Trying to keep this moving here, We're running out of time. Uh, Forty percent, uh, or let's just put what it actually is. It's uh, it's for five percent every one second. Yeah. Great second. Forty percent. Okay. Uh, moving on from that, Paladin. Your other self heal would obviously be L O H, and then a uh, Warrior. There's no other option. Okay, that was your one self heal choice, and you would go with that. And uh, as the other monk, there's not another one. 
uh, Death Knight you can go with Rune Tap. Um, you know, the, the Expel Harm is basically the Monk's version of Rune Tap. It also does deals damage. Okay, so that's a pretty cool ability. Um, oh, yeah, that's a good point. The guy said the orbs. What are those things called? Healing Spheres. Good catch, bro. Healing Spheres. Uh, no cooldown. These just cost 60 energy per. 60 energy per. Max of 3 active. At a time, 1.5 second cast. So you're not going to be able to use those really while tanking. Uh, well, the, it's affected by haste, but you know, base cast 1.5 seconds. Okay, you're not going to be able to use those by tanking. You know, if you guys just want to see it in action real quick, I mean, you could be like, okay, well, I'm going to go over here and uh, you know, I'll be picking up the boss off the other tank here. This is kind of the setup, and you can just kind of keep them over to the side here. So this tree's the boss, and it's like, okay. Well, you know, I'm picking up the boss right now. Oh shit, I need to heal. My healer's targeted by a meteor on rag. Uh, oh god, let me just run over here. Boom, there's, you know, a quick 30k heal. Not going to be a showstopper, but it's pretty cool. I like the design, uh, nonetheless. Um, one thing that I do want to add to the monk thing, I don't really know where I'm going to put it yet, is the statue. And what I mean by statue is... What do I have this shit bound to? Oh, it's right here. Um, is this. Uh, this is on a three minute cooldown. You can taunt off of it. And the thing is, is it also provides a guard from here. Okay? And it stacks with this guard. Uh, because you get two different buffs, so I'm assuming it's stacking. Um, Let's just put Black Ox statue. We'll put that in raid utility while we're all, while we're thinking about that. Black Ox statue. Okay. Um, moving on. No, no other self healing that I'm forgetting. Um, Additional cooldowns. So we're going to add, uh, for the monk, the only thing that we really haven't added, have we put shuffle in there yet? Uh, I do not remember if we have. I don't think so. So we're going to go ahead and put shuffle in there for a monk. And uh, what shuffle did is uh, 20 second CD, one chi, no, two chi, 20 second CD, 20 second CD. 2 chi uh, forces next three melee attacks to stagger. Okay, so we're going to add that. And uh, offensive cooldowns we're going to put on there for a monk is going to be Jin Yu Cider. Cider, uh, 90 second CD, restores all chi. Um, just to fly through these real quick, additional cooldowns on the DK. Uh, you know, you don't, have, you don't want to have a 90 second cooldown bracket. You've got Dancing Rune Weapon. Um, couldn't really think of another one for the Druid. I mean, not really necessarily think of one. They, I mean, they don't really have another one that I can, you know, if they do, remind me, I'll put it in there. Um, kind of doing the Monk one right now. Uh, you know, it's not just limited to those. It's like Army of the Dead, you know, large cooldowns like that. Uh, you know, even short ones that didn't have a place above, like uh, Paladin, we're going to throw Art and Defender in there. Uh, Warriors don't have one. Um, so we're going to add Shuffle in there for the... Monk, and uh, we're going to add Avert Harm while we're thinking about it here. Raid cooldown. Okay, if you guys are like, one minute CD. Twenty. Uh, yeah, we'll we'll elaborate on that in a bit. But uh, you know, that's that's your that's where the that's where the D sac more or less went. It it, it reduces raid damage taken by twenty percent. You know, the Paladins lost D sac. But the monk gains avert harm, so I'm not really sure where they were going with that. Uh, you take, um, we're gonna put this in parentheses. Monk also takes takes damage. Okay, um, so you take damage equal to, you know, uh, half of the amount that they did not take. I'll just read it to you guys. Okay, you reduce the damage taken by everyone within 10 yards by 20%, and you cause half of all remaining damage they take to be redirected at you. Okay, so. 
you kind of have to use this in conjunction with the cooldown. All right. Uh, I think that's the way that DSAC used to be, or you know whatever the name of it was back in Wrath for a Paladin and things like that. So um, yeah, let's see. You got to take a time out here and start banning people. I guess none of my uh, no. There is no raid cooldown for a Paladin. DSAC is no longer okay. So you people that are coming in here like saying, "Oh my God, you forgot this." No, I did not. Okay, Paladins no longer have Divine Sack. News flash. It's not there anymore. Okay, so it is done. So done. However, maybe they just haven't put it in yet. It's as simple as adding it. We could always go with that thought. Um, but yeah, um, execute. I think uh, yeah, monks have blackout kick. Blackout kick. Um, Death knights are going to get soul reaper. Druids don't have one yet. I'm not sure why they took away uh, hammer. Uh, you know the hammer for the paladins, but it's no longer there. And warriors also get uh, get their um, execute. Uh, they can use it in prot. Uh, one thing that I want to actually a tap power debuff. I wasn't able to find this the other day, but there is there has to be an ability that uh, applies the demo shout effect because I cannot find it. Uh, I'm not sure if I was just missing it or what, but yeah, I cannot find the um, yeah, I cannot find one. So I don't, I don't think that they uh, they don't have that, they have a demo shock. So that's an oversight they're gonna have to fix. I just may not know it though. So if you guys know what it is, tell me and I'll change it. Couldn't find it. Okay, um, let me make sure. Make sure, make sure, make sure. Okay, so we're going to add for raid utility here. Um, they're able to dispel uh, bleeds and poisons. And... I wonder if I should add a category for interrupt. Let's do that. Inter interrupt, so we got mind freeze, 15 second CD, druids, uh, skull bash, I think, 15 second CD, uh, monk tank is spear hand strike, the thing about this is it's a 30 second CD, okay, spear hand strike, 30 second CD, uh, rebuke, I think, Second CD and then uh, pummel. Second CD. Okay, some of those may be changed. I want to go back through there, but you guys uh, get the thing here. Um, let's see, elusive brawler, the mastery thing. Yeah, let me check that. Elusive brawler. Wait, where do you? Oh, no, not that. Yeah, I couldn't really find it. I don't know. Um, let's see. The guy says here. Uh, oh, the spell may be changed. I don't know if it is. I'll change it. So you know. But for right now, it's in there, and we're gonna go with that. Um, just looking at raid cool or additional offensive or offensive cooldowns. I want to have a category for this for, you know, like what can you do to increase your threat or whatever or your damage output because, you know, that does matter. As a Death Knight, they really don't have anything. That's one category where a Death Knight's kind of like a little behind the power curve. But, um, what the fuck? Okay, yeah. I don't know why those came in frozen. Um, but uh, yeah, looking down here where we're at now, offensive cooldowns, like I said, the Death Knight could really kind of use one, but, you know, we'll take it at face value there. Uh, Druid, you've got Incarnation, which gives you a lot more. You know, everything's on a 1.5 second CD, and you also get Berserk, same shit as it is now. On a Brewmaster Monk, you get the Genu Sider. It's kind of like the Divine Plea. I don't know, it just really feels like they took a lot away from the prop out and gave it to the Monk. They took away Divine Plea. They give you Genu Sider, which does the same thing if you look at Chi compared to Holy Power. 
You know, it, it, it's a 1.5 minute cooldown that restores all of that. They took away Desec and they give the Monk Avert Harm. They take away Hammer of Wrath and they give the Monk Blackout Kick. You know, I'm not really sure what they were go going for with that, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, but yeah, with the Paladins, you have Wings on a 3 minute cooldown. Uh, you can Talon Holy Avenger, which is really strong. Warrior, you have Wreck, and you have Avatar, which is really strong. 3 minute cooldown. Um, level 90 Talent. Okay. Uh, so yeah, those are all your offensive cooldowns per classes, and uh, just trimming through these real quick. Uh, DKs, blood DKs get um, give uh, you know AMZ now, and then as you guys, we already went over avert harm. It's the new D sack, but the monk also takes damage, and then rallying cry from the warrior. So I just you know if they would have kept paladins with a D sack, it would have had everybody in the mix with a raid cooldown except a druid, which you know whatever. So I'm not really sure why they would take one away, give another one. You know, if they were going to take them away, I would expect them to take them away across the board. Not just give, I mean, because that's, that's my biggest pet peeve with kind of how they deal with cooldown, to raid cooldowns. If you're going to give tank raid cooldowns, give it to all the tanks. They don't have to be equal, but at least give all the tanks some raid utility by giving them all a cooldown. Because what you do, especially in in-game raiding, is you have guilds that go super, super, uh, you know, min-max, and it's like, oh, well, this tank... As long as he can tank the fight, we get another raid cooldown out of it. That's the tank that you're playing. And it was really annoying, speaking from a Death Knight's POV, this entire last expansion, you know, when compared with, you know, say like a Warrior with Rally and Cry, a Paladin with DSAC, it's like, okay, well, I have to sit for these just because, you know, they've got a cooldown. I may not be, you know, you know, I mean, even if, as long as they're both capable of tanking the fight outside of that, the tank with the cooldown is going to have the edge. That's what I'm getting at, and it's annoying. So... I'm going to be giving feedback on the beta forums with as far as that goes, and we'll uh, you know we'll go from there. But you know I just if they're going to have tanks raid cooldowns, give all the tanks raid cooldowns. So um, let's see, uh, nothing else there. I have another category for it just in case they add something or another line rather. Uh, raid utility. This is just little cool things that help out. Like I said, dispels on the monk. Um, what is that thing called? Detox. Well, let's just add the name of it, just so people aren't like, "Oh, I don't have a dispel." Yeah, you have something called detox. Grats. Uh, Death Knights. You can glyph Death Coil and shield people. That's really cool. Say, I see somebody that's super low. I just target them and hit them with a Death Coil, and uh, you know, boom, they've got a 30k shield on them or whatever. So it's kind of like a, you know, I mean, you're using RP, which you may need, but if it's going to save somebody's life, it's kind of cool to have a little bit of raid utility like that on the tank. I really like that glyph. Um, Guardian Druid, you know, you've got the Stampeding Roar. Um, you've got Symbiosis, which is going to be insane. I'm pretty sure that's going to change, but for right now it is what it is. You've also got Innervate and Trank. Um, let's see. Uh, Black Ox Statue, you can have people click it for absorbs. Uh, people can click absorbs. Now as a tank you're probably going to be bitching at people not to click it because you want to click it but you know say in a situation where you need people to click it you'll end up you know it's only got 10 charges um, put that in there 10 charges okay um, hand of sack on a prop paladin that's uh, you know word of glory you can do it at the you can put it on somebody in the raid um, sacred shield on a, on a prop pally talented talented Okay, um, warrior. This is a talent for. I mean, as a warrior, that you you have to choose between mass spell reflect, safeguard, and uh, vigilance. You know, that's uh, if you guys want to go in more in depth on those. You know, kind of running out of time, but uh, you know, it's mass spell reflect. Is anything that can be spell reflected, you do it to the raid as well, which probably isn't going to be a lot based on past fights. Maybe they're going to add new shit at the uh, at the you know the new X pack or whatever. Uh, you know, I don't really have a uh, yeah. Let's see. Purifying Brew, yeah, good point. Let me add that additional cooldown. Uh, actually, I mean that's you're not really going to add Purifying Brew. That's not like a cooldown. You know what I mean? That's just like I guess you could add it. Whatever, we're going to add it. We'll just put it under additional cooldowns. Pure, how do you spell it? Yeah, Purifying Brew. Purifying Brew, one minute CD. I don't know, 45 second CD, one chi. One sheet. Mm -hmm. uh, purifies. All stagger damage. 
Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, it, you might as well list it on there just because, you know, you could use that, uh, you know, to, to save your life. So we'll throw that under additional cooldowns. Um, so it's a good catch there. Uh, yeah, I mean, but you're still taking the damage. It's not like you're removing the dot. That's why I was kind of like hesitant because it's like an ability that's going to make you take damage, but you could be able to, you can make it, make you take damage to keep you from taking more damage later, if that makes sense. So that's kind of where I was like, uh, but yeah, yeah, I'll give you the, yeah, that works. Um, see, so pretty sure we got everything pretty much hammered out for the monk there. Um, let's, uh, I'm trying to think. We're going to go ahead, I'm going to go ahead and put Leer of the Ox under, nah, I'm not going to. That's just an additional taunt. Um, Let's just look around here and make sure I'm not missing anything. Oh, the guys, that's here. I've been debating this all night on my pally tank. I was just going to cover this just because this is a tank Q&A as well. Because right now I'm dodged, or right now with the dodge trinket, I'm CTC capped. Uh, but people are telling me I should re gym and reforge to replace the dodge trinket with a stand trinket. Uh, yes, I mean. It, your thing, there's a character limit on what you guys can put in there, so I, everything's cut off after you say Twilight Heroics. So if you have more stuff in super in-depth, go ahead and repost the second half of that message. But uh, what you want to do is uh, you, you definitely want to get rid of the Dodge Trinket. I don't really think the Dodge Trinket is very good in pretty much 90% of the situations, okay? So uh, let me know if you have any other questions on that. But, um, yeah, I would definitely do what they're saying. You know, get CTC cap without the Trinket and, uh, you know, wear the double stamp or whatever. So... Uh, back to the spreadsheet here. We're going to deal with the ratings later. I don't want to start rating them right now just because that's going to cause maybe a false uh, false sense of balance that doesn't really need to be there yet. We'll deal with that once beta is a lot further along. Okay. Um, you have Elusive Brawler there on the bottom right. Hang on. Elusive Brawler. What is this guy talking about? What about it? What are you saying? I have uh, Elusive Brawler on the bottom right. I'm not sure what he's uh, what he's going for. That's just your mastery. So I'm not sure. Like, it's not an ability on here. Yeah, I, I do have it on the spreadsheet. If you will go to the spreadsheet link and you will scroll up, right there it is. It's on the top. Okay. That's that's what it is. Okay, I'm not really sure his question. So, anyways, back to this. We'll get the ratings on there. This is going to be a constant, ongoing thing. You guys now have the link. If you want to get with me and you know give me some changes to add to it, put some feedback on Twitter. I'll add to it and whatnot. But uh, you know, real quick, um, I'm going to skim through the changes of what's gone away and things like that. And uh, you know, eventually we'll end up adding some. Key changes, like a uh, key change for Death Knight is AMS now gives Runic return for any spec. But, uh, you know, just stuff like that. Um, so, things that aren't in the game anymore. As a Death Knight, you're going to have to learn to live without Blood Tap because you have to choose between Blood Tap, Runic Empowerment, or Runic Conversion, or uh, Runic Corruption, whatever the the, haste, the one that procs 100% haste on all the runes. I forget the name. Um, a Druid, you no longer have Pulverize. You no longer have AoE Taunt. You no longer have Demo Shout. Yes, Demo Shout is tied into Thrash. Yeah, I'm not saying it's gone. I'm just saying that's, that ability is not there anymore. The effect is tied into something else. And you no longer have Bash. You can talent into Bear Hug or anything like that. These are just abilities that are in the game now that aren't in the game in beta. Okay? As a, you know, on a, on a Brewmaster Monk, obviously there's nothing on that list because they weren't in the game. Um, you know, Paladin, there's actually quite a bit. You know, there's no more Divine Plea for Prot. There's no more Inquisition for Prot. There's no more Hammer of Wrath. for All these are for Prot. There's no more Hammer of Wrath. There's no more Trip Taunt. There's no more DG. DG means Divine Guardian. Uh, there's no more Auras, so you don't bring, you know, okay, well, I can put up Devo. No, you don't. You do, there's no more Auras um, on the Prop Paladin. There's no more Exorcism. Very situational at best, but it's not there. Uh, there's no more Holy Shield. It's kind of baked into your Shield Slam now. There's no more Guarded by the Light for preemptive mitigation. And there's no more sacred duty procs on a, a paladin as well. The one guy's asking about death pact. 
uh, it is up here in the self heal one category. Okay, um, you have to choose between that or conversion. So it kind of depends on the uh, depends on the fight. Okay, uh, other notable changes on the paladin. There's no more glyph that gives you 10% expertise. Yeah, there's no longer the 10% amplified heal on the word of glory. Your crusader strike and your hammer of the righteous are now 4.5 second cooldowns up from three, which means you have an additional filler spot in your rotation. And uh, then. You also have wings go from a two-minute cooldown to a three-minute cooldown, okay? And then warriors, no more inner rage, no more rend, no more vigilance the way that it was. You know, it's different now. It's a talent does something completely different. Um, different ability now, but with same name, okay? Uh, no more AoE taunt. They kind of took, took out AoE taunts altogether, it looks like. Uh, there's no more demo shouts tied into your T-clap. Uh, there's no more comp blow, but you can set, you can you know you can obviously spec into a stun. And there's no more retail. Okay, so I just wanted to go over those, and make sure people were clear. But uh, all in all, I mean, we we got the monk stuff figured out so far. Expect this to change. I don't want anybody freaking out, and you know I don't want anybody you know just it, it, don't take this for more than what it's worth. Worth, you know, it's not the end of the world. You know, we're gonna see how it plays out. You know, don't don't be flipping out. But this is what it is right now. We'll see. I'm, I'm sure a lot of things on this are going to change in raid testing. But uh, all in all, hopefully you guys uh, enjoyed it. You know, I mean, you can see the list here of all the stuff that's taken away from a prop paladin. But at the same time, the prop paladin is getting, you know, benefit. You know, they're getting sacred shield. They're getting um, the word of glory thing is the biggest change, man. You can spam word of glory on yourself, okay? You're also going to get, be getting holy power through judgments and things like that. And you, you can have up to five holy power. So it's going to come in, you know, I mean... That buff is pretty huge. Just being able to throw word of glories on yourself, you know, you know, 80k word of glories every few seconds. I mean, that's pretty huge. So, I mean, may have took away a little bit from the paladin's raid utility, but they kind of buffed their uh, personal survivability. We're going to see how it plays out, but um, cool stuff. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this. I see a lot of people in the channel. Um, what I want you guys to do, we're going to be going over. We'll actually probably go over some more of this tomorrow. It depends on whether or not uh, we get somebody lined up for the tank talk. Uh, if we do, we'll focus a little bit on that. If we don't. We may just kick off some armory audits and things like that because this actually took a lot longer than what I was anticipating. And then we could have actually kept going over it for another probably an hour. But uh, this is the last time you guys will see this. Yeah, I'll wear a headband in the raid tonight since you guys got me the viewers. We've got a raid coming in less than an hour. So uh, you guys do me a favor. If you're new here, hit the follow button. Uh, also, I'm going to go ahead and toss my Twitter in chat. And I want you guys to do me a favor and follow me on Twitter. All right, I'm almost at uh, 700 viewers. And... Uh, you know, help me help you. I'm down to keep doing this on a you know daily and weekly basis, and uh, you know be able to offer insight for you guys. And it's not asking a lot for you guys to make a and take take 30 seconds, to make an account, hit the follow button. Because the more followers I have on Twitter, more subscribers on YouTube, and things like that, the better off I'm going to be. Okay, so uh, you know, take you know 30 seconds and add stuff like this. Uh, you can also I'm going to link this as well. So um, you know, follow me on Twitter and subscribe on YouTube. And, you know, we'll keep getting this stuff going for you guys. This isn't a stream that's really focusing on entertainment. It's more so a stream that's focusing on me being able to provide information for you guys that want to come in and check it out. So it's not asking a lot. I'm not asking you guys to donate, but you can if you want to. You know, uh, you know, I'm not going to be, this isn't a stream where you find somebody begging for money or shit like that. But, uh, you know, just do me a favor and, you know, subscribe to YouTube and follow me on Twitter. Stuff like that helps me out in, in, other, in other ways. So uh, we got a raid coming up. we got a 25-man uh, Dragon Soul Heroic Clear. 8 out of 8, followed by a 10-man Dragon Soul Heroic Clear with a buyer. So you guys stick around for that. We're basically going to be 9-manning 10-man uh, Dragon Soul Heroic. And uh, I'm not really sure how that's going to turn out. Could be pretty brutal, but i uh, got a lot of stuff in store for you guys tonight. So for right now, that wraps up the uh, tank Q&A for the day. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this spreadsheet, man. I'm going to toss it in chat one more time. You guys do me a favor and bookmark it and, uh, you know, Help me help you, all right? I'll keep this information flowing, and we'll keep a good, you know, knowledgeable stream uh, provided for you guys. So thanks again for watching. Make sure to follow me on the stream, Twitter, and YouTube. And uh, I'm going to run a few commercials and chill out a little bit before the raid. It starts in about half an hour, okay? So you guys have a good day. Good talk.